Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is the first episode of the Sims 4 Sims in Bloom Challenge. The Sims in Bloom Challenge is a legacy challenge, similar to the not so very legacy challenge. It was created by Sims Garden. I'll put the general rules on the screen and I'll read out this generation's description and the goals that we need to hit. Gen 1 Daisy. Colours white and yellow. Gardening has always been your passion. Owning a large healthy garden is all you've ever wanted in life. Even if your nails constantly have soil under them and you have so many broken pots you've lost count. Your happy place is mediating in the shade of the fruit trees that you grew yourself from tiny saplings. You sit and wonder what your family will grow to do and hope that they will flourish just as beautifully as your garden has. This is the start of your family legacy. Personally, I think that's beautiful. Um, I can already tell there's going to be a lot of gardening in this and I'm quite excited because I've never actually done gardening in The Sims 4 before. Like, I've had plants, but it's never been something that I've done a lot, so I'm quite excited. Aspiration, freelance botanist. Traits, cheerful, clumsy, loves the outdoors and career gardening. And we need to develop the gardening skill, fishing skill and wellness skill. So the rules are we need to live on a lot with the simple living challenge which I'm going to add now but I think it might already be on the slot because I'm in Henford on Bagley. Grow five perfect plants, marry a sim who also has the love of the outdoors trait and gain the outdoorsy lifestyle and grow a death flower. Those last two are optional but I'm going to try my best. I've never grown a death flower at all. I've got no idea how to do it. I feel like it could be fun, you know, do something new. Do something I've never done before. Oh no, not the lag. We're starting this challenge off with Daisy and Petal. Daisy is our cute little bulldog and Petal is our founder sim. I was just taking pictures. Let's turn headline effects back on. There we go. And I will take you in the create sim so you can see Petal. I have done a whole Create Sim video when I was making Petal, but in case you haven't seen that, I'll just quickly go through her outfits and show you the traits that I've chosen for her. Obviously, you've got the traits from the challenge, which are in there, but I've got the mod that lets you have five trait slots, so I kind of used the vibe I was going for when I was making her outfits to try correlate a bit more personality into her. To me, Petals are really bubbly, happy, creative person. Okay, so now we are in Creator Sim and we can see Petal in her full glory. I absolutely love her. Her traits are cheerful, clumsy, loves the outdoors, childish, and green thumb. Like I said, I've never done gardening before, so I thought green thumb would help me out quite a bit. And I want to try to reflect the personality I had for her in my head into her outfit choices as well, so. I was kind of thinking like primary school teacher vibes, really bubbly and like just like really happy, really cheerful, you know? So this is her first everyday outfit and we have her second one. She put her hair in some beautiful looks. We love to see it. And obviously the colours for this challenge is white and yellow, so I tried to incorporate as much yellow in and as much white in. But when I was making this outfit, I just found it looked so much nicer with the black underneath. But I gave her white shoes to kind of balance it out. And then her third outfit, I gave her the white cropped um, top, which is it's actually an accessory, which is really cool. So you can put it underneath anything or you can just have it like on its own and i really like that she's also got these dungarees they didn't really have like a yellow so it looks a bit orange but i just thought it was really cute and i really wanted her in dungarees she seemed like a dungarees kind of girl quickly go through her other outfit so we've got her formal wear she straightened her hair for this i really like this dress from cottage living it's i like i don't know i like how it fades into like solid fabric i don't know if that's even a thing fading fabric if it is that's really cool i've just never seen it before in real life but in the sims amazing then her athletic wear so she is meant to be into wellness in fact let me do her likes and dislikes after this sleepwear she got the bonnet on you know protecting her hair party wear nice and simple little white dress with some black boots swimwear her hot weather wear nice and simple she doesn't like to be too extra she just likes to be comfortable and cute 
except during winter where she has to have her cute little hat because this is her cold weather wear. So I decided I want to do this challenge where I name the pets. I want a pet for each generation and I want to name the pets based on the generation name. So rather than my sim being called Daisy, my pet called Daisy and she's so gorgeous. I gave her like ambery yellow vibes. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I gave her amber yellow eyes and kind of made her look more yellowish. <laughs> So she's yellow and white, she's the cutest little bulldog ever and yeah, so let's get into the gameplay. Okay, we are back in game. I'm just going to make sure that we have the simple living lot trait because that is one of the requirements for this challenge. As you can see, we are on a completely empty lot. Oh, lag. Okay, we're back. We're on a completely empty lot because you can start this challenge in two ways you can either have a thousand simoleons and a little house or apartment or you can go zero simoleons rags to riches style empty lot and that's what i'm doing today because i don't know i love rags to riches and i haven't done it in a while recently i've just been giving my sims big houses and then getting bored i quite like the struggle in the beginning so i think our first course oh that's so cute oh a fox that's so cute. She's giving Daisy a hug. I think the first thing we're gonna do is we need to look for some collectibles. I know the Sims team haven't really been putting collectibles in like new worlds, so maybe we'll look for oh, just as I said it, we'll look for a fishing spot instead. She is meant to love fishing, so I feel like that's a really cool way for us to earn our money. We can do some fishing with our cute little pet Daisy next to us, or Daisy can just sit down. I think the first thing that I want to buy is a pet food bowl because I want to be able to feed Daisy. Like, um, we got to feed our dog before we feed ourselves, of course. <laughs> it's just beautiful. You got the waterfalls, the stones. Henford on Bagley is one of my favorite worlds. It's just, it's just so pretty. Like, look at that view. Oh, look at the distance. I love it. Love it. I'll let you know when she catches something. Oh, got a notification. <laughs> Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for petal. Oh no! Is there another fishing spot that we can go to? Oh, <laughs> Daisy's asleep. She's so cute. We need to make some money. Why don't you try again while I go look for another fishing spot for you? Or just something else in the world, really. Oh my gosh, she's swimming! <laughs> fishing. Oh, here's another one. So she doesn't get anything. Ooh! Oh my gosh, this is so cute and romantic. Well, I know where my I know where Petal's proposal spot's gonna be. Possibly. Daily lifestyle cap. I hope that's the Love Style Outdoors one. Because if you can get that out of the way, that's perfect. Even though that one's optional. Oh my gosh, look at her skill. She's almost at level two already. Petal, you're a natural. <laughs> Ooh, did she get something? She broke the string! That's so sad. Oh no. Let's try the other um, fishing spot. See if we can catch any fish there. Oh, who's this? Pearl should make some friends! Come say hello to Royce. Royce Davies. Oh, whoops. No, don't leave. Actually, why are you coming up here? I think he's just coming to our lot anyway. Let's do a fun introduction. She is childish and cheerful, you know, she loves making jokes, so I feel like a fun introduction is definitely Petal style. I always forget to give my sims friends, so I'm really glad that, uh, what's his name again? Royce came over. Oh, he liked it! Does he like fishing too? Oh, oh my gosh, we're like, we're, we're made to be best friends. Let's not flash crazy eyes at him when you've just met him. Um, enthused about fish. Oh, are you saying goodbye? Oh no, I think she's saying hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, steal his spotlight. <laughs> Let's ask about his hobbies and skills. Oh, never mind. Was it something we said? I'm sorry, Royce. Well, we need to make money anyway. We ain't got time for you. It's all about money moves right now. <laughs> Oh, someone's fishing. Maybe we can talk to this person. Maybe we can be- Oh, 
she does not like us i think that was the welcome wagon i told them to leave let's be respectful to her like i'm so sorry that i told you guys to leave like we're still friends right whoa she got some big boobs <laughs> it's kind of clipping through her arms but that's okay that happens in real life too she reached level 2 before she even started fishing. Let's go. That's what you call natural talent when you don't have to do the action to level up. Can you not like talk whilst fishing? Oh, we can go fishing together. Oh, nope. Yeah, she really does not like us. She was like, nope. Well, it's okay. Let's focus on making money. Like, if we do see new people, we're going to talk to them because I want her to have friends. <gasps> we caught a fish. Is this our first fish? Or did I miss like- oh no, I missed the- oh. It's a gummy guppy, oh my gosh. Ooh! Oh, we, are, we caught a goldfish already, that's pretty cool. Let's sell that. You know what could be cool? Maybe we could like, have a fish business. <laughs> On the side of our career. Which reminds me, I need to give her the- I need to give her her job actually. <laughs> I forgot, this isn't like rags to riches, rags to riches, so she can have a job. After she does some more fishing, we need 10 more simoleons to afford a dog bowl, I think. So, one more fish should do the trick. I think I'll keep maybe two more fishes because. Oh, upcycling. Ah, I see. Okay. Maybe two more fishes because I want her to be able to eat. Because there's a grill over here. Maybe we can grill a fish. She is quite hungry. I haven't really thought of a backstory for her. So if any of you guys have any ideas for backstories for Petal, like how did she get here? Why, why, why is she here? Oh, I just realized she's clumsy. Maybe that's why she keeps like breaking the string. <laughs> That'd be so funny. I don't know. Maybe she should just be a mystery. It's like, where did she come from? Ooh, spooky. <laughs> well, if no one comments any ideas for her backstory, I'll think of one for episode two and I'll let you guys know. Like, why did we get here? Why are we just on an empty lot with a dog? <laughs> did we kidnap the dog? Like, what happened? <laughs> oh, she might have something. Please get this fish. Please get this fish. And the string broke. Oh, Daisy wants affection. Okay, we need to hurry up so we can give Daisy some affection. She deserves it. <gasps> oh, we got fish. Oh, it's another goldfish. Can we eat goldfish? <laughs> Are they edible? <laughs> um, a small member of the carp family known to frequent both fish bowls and toilet bowls. That's so, that's so bad mind. <laughs> I love it. Oh no, it's getting dark. Ooh, what's this? Kitchen upgrade part. How much is that? 90 simoleons. Oh my gosh. Yes, Petal. Plants. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my gosh gosh that's such a beautiful scene she, get, <gasps> she got something okay there we go that's enough but you know what? i'm proud of us it's day one and we've got our first 130 simoleon oh these bowls are cheaper i was looking at the price of this bowl oh perfect hey baby let's get it they're yellow i mean that's kind of yellow there's white color is this is Oh, this one has a more vibrant yellow and it's got white in it. It's more expensive, but you know what? It's for the challenge. There we go. Willow Creek is guaranteed to be stuff. So let's go there. Oh, wow. It's still dark in Willow Creek. It was quite light in Henford. I mean, maybe it's just on a different part of the globe, I guess. Um, so we, I guess we've got to wait a little while for some stuff to spawn in. Fishing spot, fishing spot. Here we go. So we're going to go fishing. Oh, she's boring. Who did you speak to? Oh, on the phone. Okay. Oh, boom. There's a frog place right here. See? Just got into Willow Creek and already there's more that I can do. Can I grill here? I can. Because we're not on my lot anymore. It's good to know. Here I should have got to go to the bathroom first. Oh, and another one. She got salmon! No way! Oh, nice. You're doing a great job. Sell the gold for Why the cooking skill? But don't just stand and watch it. Eat. You're hungry. Uh, excuse you? Are you going to ask? I mean, maybe... Okay, let's say we invited her over. 
because you know we're so friendly and cheerful we're like hey i made some hamburgers they don't want any because we're trying to be friends alice clearly oh she's really pretty let's get to know her see what she's like maybe we can, she can be our friend oh she did not seem to like that maybe we will be friends um, yeah, she just doesn't get us at all. Maybe we can try to discuss local fishing spots? Well, let's talk to Felix. Felix Ferguson. Maybe he can be our friend. Still a fun introduction. Oh, Alice knows about fishing? Okay. Maybe we can be friends. Let's tell her an unbelievable story. Let's also talk to Felix. I want to get to know their traits because one of the requirements for the the challenge, one of the rules, is that I need to marry someone with the loves the outdoors trait. I probably went past. I'm looking for get to know. Oh, she's gone. Let's discuss interests. Oh, oh, Daisy, don't bark at the nice people. I'm just trying to make friends. Oh, he's gone. Daisy, you scared him away. Okay, Grandma with the pigtails. Why is this guy not wearing any clothes? Ah, <laughs> uh, he's probably dressed in clothes from a pack that I just don't own. That makes sense. This is a safe file. Go to this bench. I get a nap in broad daylight. Maybe get Daisy to nap at our feet. And with that, everyone, we are going to be ending the first episode of my Sims in Bloom Legacy Challenge gameplay with Etel. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And the next episode should be more eventful. This one, there was a lot of um, introductions. But next time, hopefully, we'll be getting to more gameplay. Next time, I'll also be able to tell you what her backstory is. And maybe that can also influence the gameplay and be really fun and exciting. But thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, and giving this video a like. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!